Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify the Lord for giving us an opportunity. One more time. To be able to come live at this time. time of prayer shortly we want to pray as we start in the name of Jesus Father in the name of the Lord I thank you for this time that you have enabled me to come out here and again pray the word of the Lord and to read the word of God I welcome you to open my eyes I want you to pray this prayer for yourself and say open my eyes that I may see wonderful things out of your law pray that the Lord will open your eyes that you may see wonderful things out of the law of the Lord, that the Lord will allow you to see wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things, wonderful things out of the law of the Lord, that he will establish it and it will be possible for you to indeed receive from the Lord this message as it comes. So close your eyes as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my friend, even as we read the word, as you brought us out here today, Lord, to declare your word in this time, in this season. The Lord, your presence will enable us to speak your word and indeed even to do the prayer actions that you have. We pray for our brother, blessed Samuel, even as you shall prepare him to come, that it will be to the glory and honor of your name. So we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. So I want to go straight to the word of God and um, I will read the book of Second Kings in, in, in Swahili. Nitasoma na Kiswahili alafu Mungu atatusaidia kuendelea hapo mbele in English and then we shall pray. Sek wafalme wa pili msa, uh, sura ya saba. neno linasema hivi. Elija Elisha akasema, "Lisikizeni, lisikieni neno la Bwana." Bwana akasema hivi, anasema hivi. Kesho panapo saa hii kipimo cha unga mzuri kitauzwa kwa shekeli na vipimo viwili vya shayari ya shekeli langoni kwa Samaria basi yule akida ambaye mfalme alikuwa akitegemea mkono wake akamjibu yule mtu wa Mungu akasema tazama 
kama Bwana angefanya madirisha mbinguni, je, jambo hili lingewezekana? Akamwambia, "Angalia, wewe utaliona kwa macho yako, lakini hutakula." Verse 3 continues and says, "Basi walipokuwapo watu wanne wenye ukoma penye lango la mji, wakasemezana, "Mbona tunakaa hapa? Hapa hata tuku, hapa tufe." Tukisema tutaingia mjini, mjini mna njaa, nasi tutakufa humo. Nasi tukikaa tukika hapa, tutakufa vile vile haya. Tutakula, tutakufa vile vile. Haya, twende tuliende, twende tukaliende jeshi la Washami. Wakituhifadhi, hai tutaishi. Wakituua, tutakufa tu. Verse 5. Basi wakaondoka kabla ya pambazuko ili waende mpaka kituo cha Washami na walipofika mwanzo wa kimo cha uh, mwanzo wa kimo cha Washami kumbe hapana mtu verse 6 kwa maana Bwana alikuwa amewasikiza Washami vishindo cha mienendo ya gari ya magari na vishindo cha farasi kama vikishindo cha jeshi kubwa wakaambiana tazama mfalme wa Israeli amewaajiri wafalme wa Ahiti na wafalme wa Misiri waje wapigane nasi kwa hiyo wa, wakaondoka wakakimbia kungali giza bado wakaziacha hema zao na farasi zao na punda zao na kimo chao vile vile kama vilivyokuwa wakakimbia wapate kujiponya nafsi zao basi wale wenye hema basi wale wenye ukoma walipofika mwisho wa kituo waliingia katika hema moja wakala wakanywa wakarudi wakaingia katika hema ya pili vile vile wakachukua vitu wakaenda wakavificha verse 9 ndipo wakaambiana mbon mambo haya tunayofanya si mema leo ni siku ya habari njema na sisi tunanyamaza mkiongoja mkingoja hata a uh, uh, kutapokapo pambazuka madhara yatatupata basi twende tukaambie watu wa nyumba ya mfalme basi wakaenda wakamuita mbababu wa mti wakamwambia tulifika huko kituo cha washami na tazama hapana mti yeyote huko wala sauti ya mtu ila farasi wamefungwa na punda wamefungwa na hema zao kama zilivyoachwa kama zilivyo waliviziacha Na mababu wakaenda wakaita wakaambia wakaambia watu wa nyumba ya mfalme verse 12 mfalme akaondoka usiku akawaambia watumishi wake sasa nitawaonyesha nyinyi walivyotenda walivyotutendea washami wanajua ya kuwa tuna njaa basi wametoka kituoni ili kujificha kondeni wakisema watakapotoka mjini tutakuwa uh, tutakamata hai tena tutawapata kuingia tutapata kuingia mjini Kumbuka huu mji ulikuwa umezingirwa it was a city that had already had it had a siege verse 13 na mmoja wapo wa watumishi wake akajibu akasema kunradhi baadhi ya watu na watwai farasi watano katika hao waliosalia waliobaki ndani ya mji tazama Wameku, wamekuzwa kama mkutano wote wa Israeli waliobaki ndani yake tazama wamekuwa kama mkutano wote wa Israeli walioangamia tutakapo tutawapeleka tutaone tuka, tuka verse 14 basi wakawatoa magari mawili na farasi zake mfalme akawatuma kuwa fuata washami wakasema endendeni mkaangalie wakafuata mpaka Yordani na kumbe Njia yote ilikuwa imejama vazi na vyombo walivyotupa washami wapate kukimbia upesi. Watu wale waliotumwa wakarudi wakaambia mfalme, basi watu walio wa, basi watu watakao toka wataziteka nyara hema za washami itakuwa kipimo cha unga mzuri kitauzwa kwa shekeli na vipimo viwili kwa shayari Shayari ya shekeli sawa sawa na nelo la Bwana. Naye mfalme akamweka yule akida ambaye alitegemea mkono wake. Akamsalimia aka, 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 yes, watu langoni. Na watu 
wakamkanyaga langoni akafa kama alivyosema yule mtu wa Mungu alinena hapo mfalme alipomshukia ikatukia kama vile vile yule mtu wa Mungu alivyoambia mfalme vipimo viwili vya shayari ya vya shairi ya shekeli na kipimo cha unga mzuri kwa shekeli ndivyo vitakavyokuwa kesho panapo saa hii katika lango la samari samaria na yule akida akamjibu mtu wa Mungu akasema sasa tazama kama Bwana angefanya madirisha mbinguni je jambo hili lingewezekana akasema angalia wewe utaliona kwa macho yako lakini huta huta hutakula ikampata vivyo hivyo kwa kuwa watu wakamkanyaga langoni akafa that is in the swahili praise the lord now we are reading it in the english version second kings chapter 7 welcome my beloved uh, friends the ones who are those of you my sister jeanette in philippines you may not have understood the the swahili but now you may receive it in english and the lord will be glorified second kings chapter 7 the siege is lifted in the mighty name of jesus the siege has been lifted the siege has been lifted second kings chapter 7 the siege has been lifted hear the word of the lord ha huh. elisha replied hear the word of the lord now let me start from chapter 6 verse 33 so that you understand where this is all about while he was still talking to them this is psalm 2 kings chapter 6 verse 33 while he was still talking to them the messenger came down to him the king said this disaster is from the lord why should i wait for the lord any longer elisha replied hear the word of the lord this is what the lord says about this time tomorrow a seer of the finest flour will sell for a shekel and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of samaria the officer at whose arm the king was leaning said to the man of god look even if the lord should open the flood gates of the heavens could this happen you will see it with your own eyes elisha answered but you will not eat of it now there were four men with leprosy at the entrance of the city gate they said to each other why stay here until we die If we say we'll go into the city the famine is there if we will uh, if, if we say we'll go into the city the famine is there and we will die if we stay here we will die so let's go over to the camp of the armenians and surrender if they spare us we live if they kill us then we die verse 5 at dusk they got up and went to the camp of the armenians when they reached the edge of the camp no one was there For the Lord had caused the Armenians to hear the sound of chariots and horses and a great army so that they said to one another look the king of Israel has hired the Hittite and the Egyptian kings to attack us so they got up and fled in the dusk and abandoned their tents and their horses and their donkeys and they left the camp as it was and ran for their lives verse 8 the men who had leprosy reached the head of the camp and entered one of the tents and ate and drank then they took silver gold and clothes and went off and hid them they returned and entered another tent and took some things from it and hid them also then they said to one another what we are doing is not right this is the day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves if we wait until daylight punishment will overtake us let's go to the let's go at once and report this to the royal palace So they went and called out to the city gatekeepers and told them we went into the Armenian camp and no one was there not a sound of anyone only tethered horses and donkeys and the tents left just as they were verse 11 the gatekeepers shouted the news and it was reported within the palace the king got up in the night and said to his officers i will tell you i will tell you says what i will tell you what the armenians have done i think the king was talking in a very pensive way looking at them and saying i'll tell you what the armenians have done huh he says here they know we are starving so they are left they left the camp to hide in the countryside 
So they left the camp to hide in the countryside. This is what um, the scripture says here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So what happened is that verse number 12, the king got up in the night and says, I will tell you what the Arameans have done to us. They know we are starving and they have left the camp to hide the countryside thinking they will come out and then we will take them alive and get into the city. One of the officers answered, have some men take five of the horses that are left in the city. Yani, it was a difficult situation that even at that time, the horses that were there had actually been left. There were five. The famine had struck in that land of Samaria. That there were only five horses left. You can imagine a whole city, only five horses. So this was a serious famine that was there. And this famine had been caused because there was already a siege on the city. The city was on a lockdown. It was a completely different place. Uh -huh. So they selected two chariots and their horses. And the king sent them after the Armenian army. He sent, he commanded the drivers, go and find out what has happened. They followed them as far as the Jordan. They found the whole road strewn with clothing and equipment. The Armenians were drawn on their way. So the messengers returned and reported to the king. Then the people went out and plundered the camp of the Armenians. Praise the Lord. So the seer of the finest flour sold for a shekel and two seers of barley sold for a shekel as the Lord had said. Now the king had put the officer on whose arm he leaned in the charge of the gate and the people trampled him in the gateway and he died just as the man of God had foretold. When the king came down to his house, it happened as the man of God had said. About this time tomorrow, a seer of the finest flour will sell for a shekel and two seers of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. The officer had said to the man of God, look. Even if the Lord should open the floodgates of the heavens, should this happen? The man of God had replied, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat any of it. That is exactly what happened to him. For the people trampled him at the gateway and he died. This is the siege of Samaria. The siege of Samaria was lifted and it was lifted in a way that was not predictable. It was not something that looked like it might happen or it will happen. It looked difficult and impossible that the siege was lifted. Today we thank God that the Lord has enabled us to be able to come and to talk to the Lord and to pray and to pray national, internationally, to pray touching the continent of Africa. And I'm so glad and blessed that uh, as the, the Lord helps us earlier in the day, we were able to get into this morning with Psalm 97. And the Lord enabled us to pray by His grace from Psalm 97. And this is the second video of today. The Lord has been gracious to us. He has been wonderful. He has given us the grace to be able to come back at this time. So as we continue to be in the presence of the Lord, I want to see if my brother, Blessed Samuel from Nigeria, is ready for me to invite him to this broadcasts and that the lord will be glorified as uh, we do that so i hope and pray that uh, we'll be able to invite brother blessed samuel into this uh, broadcast as the lord will help us hallelujah glory be to god what a wonderful wonderful time in the presence of the lord being able aha uh -huh. i see he's already invited uh, so I will need to do a link. So if Sister Celeste, you can be able to put the link in my inbox. And then this way I can be able to invite him. And that will be a good thing. So just get the link of this video and put it in my inbox. Then Samuel to come and join us uh, from Lagos that we can be able to pray. Uh the continental midday prayer because over there we are two hours behind them and uh, we trust that the lord will help us so just send me the link on the on the um inbox and then that way we'll be able to glorify the lord together as we are gathered in the nations of the earth what a joy this word is a lot that we will say there are a lot that we can 
declare, you know, um, uh, let me see if I can get the link. Ah, uh -huh, that's Brother Samuel. Let me just pick. Praise the Lord of God. I am blessed. Yeah, I'm actually live. If you can just go to the wall, you'll be able to, you'll be, you'll be. No, no, this one is not in Zoom. We are on Facebook. So, yeah, we are only on Facebook. We'll do a Zoom one maybe for later. But now this one we can do on, uh, on, yeah, on Facebook. Then you can uh, add, add up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be camera. If you, if you manage to go um, on the video, then I should be able to invite you because you are, yeah, yeah. Okay, just check it out. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good and is worthy to be praised. Very soon we are going to invite you into our Google Meet where we'll be able to gather at least like-minded people. About a hundred of you can be able to fit there and the Lord will be glorified as we get these wonderful things that the Lord has enabled us to receive. Blessed Samuel there. Brother Samuel, just check. We've already, I've already invited you. So, Oh, 
Praise the Lord. Pauline, welcome. We are still trying to connect with our brother. I can see you, my brother. All right, okay. I hope it's clear and very well. We can see clearly. Yeah, we can be able to hear you. Whoa, there's a challenge there with the connection. Well, beloved of the Lord, seems we have some technical itch over there. From Lagos, that's our brother. You're trying to connect with him. 
and um Hello, uh, 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 brother. Blessed, if you would try and uh, don't go through the messenger, go yes. through the live video itself. Go through the live video. Yes, that is where I am. No, no, no. This one is the messenger. This one is the messenger. Okay. So just go through the Facebook live video that is playing on the wall, and then that way you will try and be able to connect directly into the video hallelujah technology is uh, on our side and we thank god that we're going to be able to do this Come on, just pray, pray that we'll be able to connect with our brother. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We continue to try and uh, get our brother, Blessed Samuel. Um, hmm. it, it seems like there's a challenge there, but the Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is more than faithful. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Celeste, I'm going to try and bring you on first to try and uh, just connect this with our brother. Brother Samuel. Hello. Yeah, we, Hello. Uh, let's let's use this method. You can just turn your camera. Okay. So that you can just uh, we don't waste any more time. We just go straight. Just turn your camera so that we can see you 
I'll bring you on. Is that okay now? Yeah, yeah. I can't see you. Just, just turn your camera. Turn your camera so that we see you. Is that okay? Yeah, but I cannot see your face. Must be a Can network. You see my face now? Uh, I think we'll be able to work with the audio for now. I think there's a. Can you see my, my face like this? Was, eh? Yes. Can you see my face now? Uh, just, just go ahead. I think uh, we'll just have to go on uh, with the audio as the Lord helps us. I think it is well. Okay. Yeah, it is well. Just. Uh, okay. Let, uh, now you can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Don't need to use video. It's okay. You can just go by audio. Mm. The, 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 the camera is outside of in in Agora. Mm. You understand? That? You are on. We can just be able to get your voice. Um, we trust God that we'll be able to. Uh, okay, can you? All right, you can. Hear, you can hear me. Yes, I can. All right. So let's have a word of prayer together as we as we move on. All right. Welcome, my brother. How is Lagos? Praise the living God. Amen. 
Lagos fire beautiful. Yeah, we've just uh, read from Second Kings seven. Yes. About the siege, the siege being lifted in Samaria, and how the word of the Lord came to pass. Yes. And uh, right now, I believe it is 12 p.m. in Nigeria. Yes. Yeah, so I just want you to lead us into prayer as the Lord helps you. Okay, not, not teaching up the dealing with the siege or dealing with uh, all these objects. Yeah, as the Lord helps you, um, we, the, the, the title of what we have read is um, the sage of Samaria, the one where the Lord lifted the sage. And um, we, we want to believe God as we pray a continental midday prayer from Lagos, that the Lord will be able to help the praying church and that the Lord will be able to grant entrance for the, um, the intercessors to begin to pray and to call on the name of the Lord as the Lord is uh, glorified. So, um, in, as the Lord helps you, just uh, go ahead. Uh, we are getting your audio loud and clear. All right. Now I want you to understand that one of the one of the instruments to deal with the to deal with the siege are the the trumpet, the shofars. It's one of the instruments that you can use to deal with the siege, both personal siege and also national siege, and also you know siege that is a, a, a global siege. You can use the trumpet to deal with it. Uh huh. Now I want you to go, and I want you to go with me to the book of Joshua chapter six. Yes, I'm there. Now you can read from verse one. Uh huh. Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, "See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands." along with his king and his fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. At the seventh day... The trumpet of what? Of ram's horns. The trumpet of what? Of ram's, ram's horns. Yes. Now, I want you to understand. The Bible says, you know, where you read that... Jericho was shut up. No one going in, no one coming out. That's right. The, the city is already under a siege. Yes. Is that clear to you? Yes, it is, sir. Now, you find out that when all of these things were going on, God, the creator of heaven and earth, was now talking to Joshua. It's yes. to Joshua that despite that all of these things are happening, I handed over to you the land and all its fullness. But you need a strategy. Can somebody say strategy? Strategy. Battle is won by strategy. <laughs> There are so many homes and families today that are uh -huh. there are so many there are so many nations today that are under a siege. Yes. Either the terrorism or one thing or another that are controlling the affairs of the place. Yes. So we read the Bible says that everything, no one is going out, no one is coming in, and they did it purposely. Because of Israel. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that are happening because of you today. Yes. And you need a strategy to deal with those powers. You need a strategy to deal with them. Yes. Like I told you earlier along today when we were discussing, I told you that priests are the custodian of the land. That's right. Now, 
the Bible says that the seven priests and this, you know, that they will be at the, you know, the trumpet of Ram's horn. The seven priests, not seven lawyers, not seven doctors, not seven any other thing. He said the seven priests will be at the, the trumpet of Ram's horn, which means the priests are the people that are supposed to sound the trumpet. That's right. And the Bible says, when they began to move around, one of the things that God needs to help us in this season is prophetic action. Can somebody say prophetic action? Prophetic action. Now we need, this is a time we need to carry a prophetic action around our nations. The Bible says they were marching around the Jericho for, you know, for six times, the seventh time they began to sound the trumpet. Yes, sir. Now, as we take, our, you know, our take our cities and nations now, it's a time for us to begin to carry on a prophetic action. It's a time for us to begin to move around and speak the word of God in our nation and speak the word of God in our families and our homes because God has made us kings and priests. Amen. And one of the things that the enemy is afraid of is prophetic action. Because as they are moving around, remember God told them they, they should move around. As they are moving around, the walls are cracking. The walls of Jericho were cracking, you know. And the moment they sounded the shofar, they give a shout, and that was the end of the battle. Yes. So we need to understand what God is saying for now. Amen. The continent of Africa is under a siege. Mm. Nations are under a siege now. So this is a time for us to sound the trumpet. Remember what happened in the scripture you read in the book of Second Second uh, Second is it Second Kings? Yes. Yeah, Second Kings chapter seven. Chapter seven. Remember. What God used to deal with the powers of darkness that had been besieging Samaria was was a sound. Yes. The enemy began to hear a sound mm. and they left the place. Yes. So now it is time for you to begin to sound. As you sound, God by his infinite mercy will begin to interpret those sounds to the enemy. Yes. So that was why they were able to, you know, to overcome. Remember when Elisha was giving a prophecy concerning what is going to happen? Yes. The man of God did not know how it's going to happen, but what he did was to bring the word of the Lord Amen. to the people. And God, by his infinite mercy, brought his word to pass. That's right. It's a hard time for us to begin to listen to the Holy Spirit, you know, for that reason, because for us to win the battle for the nations today, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. And when the Spirit of God is speaking to you, you know, you will advance. There is nothing that will hinder you. That's because right. Because of Israel did not win the battle because of their strength, because they obeyed the word of the Lord. Amen. So we, if you look at what happened there, you realize that. After they finished blowing the trumpet, the war of Jericho collapsed. And I know as I'm speaking now, so many wars is going to collapse in the nations of in nations in Africa. Amen. Because this is our time. Yes. The Bible says that in the book of in the book of Romans, Romans chapter chapter eleven, yes. that the time of the fullness of the Gentile nations time of the fullness of Gentile nations to manifest God's power, to manifest His glory and His majesty. And there is no way we can manifest it when we are, you know, in lockdown, when we are still hiding. 
It yes. is time for us to begin to announce the castle of God over the nations in Africa. Amen. And one of the instruments, like as I said to you last time when I was talking, yes. I told you that this is one of the instruments that God is using in these last days, you know, to force his power and his purposes. Amen. Remember what happened when those people they saw that ah, you know, the 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 the, the siege was broken, they did not stop there. Those people, they, 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 those men and women that are there at the gate of Samaria, remember that they have been rejected, you know, they are rejected yes. objects. Yes. They were just there, you know, waiting for the time to die. That's right. <laughs> the Lord came to them. They say it's, 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 instead of them to die in the hand of Israel, it's better for them to die in the hand of the enemy. Yes. Until we make our, you know, until we determine to deal with the powers in the continent, there is no one who will come to deal with it for us. That's true. So, you realize that, you, you know, the entire continent of Africa is under a siege. A siege of one thing or another. Remember that this continent is one of the great the greatest continent in the planet Earth. You know, if you talk about the environment, the, environment, the things that God has been embedded in our, in our continent, it cannot, be content, it cannot be compared to any other nation in the planet Earth. That's right. But today we are under a siege. Hmm. I don't know how many of you there are riding in a new car. <laughs> but, but the new cars today are meant for the Muzungu. <laughs> uh -huh. They are the people that are driving the car. You know, where we ride in Africa, many of them are dying in wilderness. Many of them are dying in one place or another because you know the land have already be defined yeah so these are one of the things i want to maybe some other time how to redeem the land how we can deal with the land that's right that one i think we'll do in a zoom meeting because this um this connection has been a challenge so I, I think we, we want to keep it this to prayer so that um, we can be able to advance the agenda and be able to pray in your noon day as the Lord helps us. All right, that will be fine. Yeah, but that, first that, and foremost, as we are going to pray, yes. first and foremost, we are going to give glory to God. We are going to thank God because He is the one that created all things. Yes. Like in the book of Psalm 1. 148. 148. Yes, we are going to read Psalm 148 from the beginning to the end. Okay, I'm there. Remember what the scripture says. It says we should enter into his court with praise. Amen. So we are entering to God's court with praise now. Mm. From the book of Psalm 148. Amen. I read in my own version. I read in New King James Version. Okay. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the height. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, you heavens of heavens, and few waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For He commanded and they were created. He also established them forever and ever. He made the decree which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great seas, creatures and all them, fire and the hell, snow and cloud, storming wind for this world, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, crippled things and flying fowls, 
gives the arm princes and others, both young men and ladies, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He and, the, and he has exalted the hearts of his people, the praise of all his saints, of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures, and all you ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, Psalm 148. That's what we are reading. As the connection is uh, buffering there from Lagos, our brother, blessed Samuel. Continue, my brother. Now you can see that, you know, we need to ask all the work of God's hands to praise him. Amen. Because that is why he, pray, he created them. So we're going to join the 24 others this afternoon to praise God. Let's summon the works of his hand to begin to praise him. Amen. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Father, we summon all the work of your hand. Yes. Lord, in the heavens, in the earth, beneath the earth, above the sea level. Yes. Lord, we summon them to praise you. We summon them to honor you. Lord, we ask our Father. Let the sun praise you, let the moon praise you, let the stars, let all the work of your hand, both visible and invisible, both thrones and dominions, both principalities and powers. Yes, Lord, we summon them to praise your name. Yes, Lord. My Sekutumelian Lerebodon Meketaba. Lord, we summon all the work of your hand. Lord, and Father, we summon them to praise you. We summon them to honor your name. We summon yes. them to exalt your name, the ancient of these. Yes, Lord. Yes. Let your creation sound. Yes. Yes. yes, Lord, we summon them to praise you. Yes, Lord. We summon the visible. We yes, summon Lord. the invisible. Yes. All the work of your hand. Yes, Lord. All the dry land. Yes. All the forest, the mountain, the hills. Yes. All the work of your hand, Lord. Yes, we Lord. We summon them to praise your name. Yes, Lord, we summon them to praise you. Yes, Lord. We summon them in this season of the full moon. Yes. Lord, we summon them. We summon them. We summon them. Yes. We summon them to praise your name, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord, we summon all the work of your hands. Yes, Lord. We summon all the work yes, of your hands. Yes, Lord. Thank you, our Father and our King. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are going to pray and ask the Lord. Some of this, um, some of these things are going to be in the book of Psalm, Psalm 38. Psalm We're going to ask the Lord to remember us. Psalm 38. Yes, you are there. You are there. Yes, Psalm 8. Yes. Verse 6. He said, You have made him to have dominion over the work of your hand. You have put all things under his feet. Yes. All, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and yes. the feet of the, through the path of the seas. O yes. Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Mm. Now we are going to pray in repentance. Yes. The Bible says, take all things and put them under our feet. Yes. Today in Africa, we worship the work of God's hand instead of worshiping God. Mm. Some of us are worshiping the water spirit, the queen of gods, the queen of rivers. Some of us are worshiping even rat. There are some names, there are some tribes. They don't eat rat. They, you know, you know, they honor rat. They mm. honor all of these creatures. You yeah. know, they support those things supposed to be under their feet. Mm. So we're going to have mercy. In every area, we are worshiping the work of his hand. 
that is to show us mercy. Let's mm. open our mouths and pray. Yes, Let's Lord. ask the Lord, we have turned his glory to shame. Mm. Let's ask the Lord to show us mercy as a continent. Yes. Today we walk, we worship the work of God's hand. The mm. things that he made us to, you know, to have dominion over. Today, those things are attacking us. Those things are now having dominion over us because of our ignorance, because of our carelessness, because of, you know, the way and manner we do things. Let's ask the Lord to show us mercy. Let's yes, open Lord. our mouth and begin to pray. Father, Father we, we pray ask for, for your mercy. mercy. We pray for mercy. Over the continent of Africa. Mercy, Lord. Lord we have worshipped the sun. Africa. We worship the moon. We yes. worship the stars. Mm. We worship all the work of your hands. Lord, Lord our mercy. Father, we plead for mercy. mercy. We ask that you remember mercy, O oh God. Mm. Show us mercy in the ancient days. Yes, Lord. I shall father me God. That you remember mercy. Yes, Lord. Show us mercy, the Elohim. Lord, look at the level of blood guiltiness in the land. Lord, our Father, we have told your glory to shame. Lord. We plead for mercy, our God. Mercy, Lord. Lord, show us mercy. Show us Let mercy. your mercy prevail, O God. Yes, Father, Lord. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you remember mercy. Mercy. Show Lord. us mercy as show a generation. Us show us mercy, the root of David. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The, my, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's again ask the Lord this time around. Let's bring the word of the Lord in the book of uh, Colossians chapter Chapter 2, verse 14, the Bible says he blotted out the handwritings of the ordinances. Let's ask the Lord to blot out the handwritings of the ordinances. Yes. They are written against us as, as a neighbor, mm. as a family, as a village, as towns, as cities, as, you know, as a nation. You know, let's ask the Lord as a continent, all of the handwritings of the ordinances, let's ask the Lord to blot them out. The one they have programmed into the moon, in this season of the full moon, in the beginning of the moon, in the quarter moon, in the half moon, in the full moon, let's ask the Lord to blot them out. Mm. All of those investments, let's open our mouth and pray. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray we the vast the investments today. of the we kingdom of darkness. Colossians chapter yes, 2. Lord. All the hard writings of the ordinance mm. written against us yes. as a nation, as a continent, mm. as a people of God, we blot them out. Mm. Yes, our Father, we go. We yes. blot them out in the waters. Yes. We blot them out in the sun, the moon, mm. the stars. Mm. Yes, Lord. Out in the forest, mm. in the mountains, the valley. Yes, our Father, in the great deep. Lord, we blot them out. In mm. every container they have programmed all of it. Yes. Lord, we blot them out. Yes. We ask our Father, the God, as mm. you blot them out this day. Lord, we blot them out to the glory of your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's ask the Lord to take them out of our way. The Bible mm. says he took them out of the way. Let's yes. ask the Lord in any way. This thing has been causing obstruction. This thing has been causing a hindrance. This thing has become a barrier to us. Let's ask the Lord to blot, you know, to take them out of the way. Yes. Let's open our mouth and pray. Father, we ask, O oh God, in yes, this Lord. afternoon, yes. Lord, we ask our Father, the God, yes. that you take these ones out of the way. Take them Lord, away. our Father, the God, mm. the barrier, the limitation, yes, the Lord. stagnation. Yes, Lord, Lord, our Father, the God, yes, yes the veil, the we covering the God, shroud, Lord. all of the things of God. Yes, Father, Father the God, we ask that you take them out mm. of the way. Take them yes, out of the way. Yes, our Father, the God. Yes, Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. 
Hey. The Bible says he nailed them at the cross. Yes. Let's ask the Lord to nail them permanently at the cross. Mm. All of the deities, all of the marriages, the covenant, the agreement, the mm. tokens, mm. all of the things, the, the celebration, the dances, all done in order to, you know, to bring this union in Africa. Let's ask the Lord to nail them at the cross. Yes. Let us pray. Mm. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask our Father in God that you nail all these things at the cross mm. of Calvary. Yes. My Sekotobeleka, Lati, Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. Now let's pray and ask the Lord for the first work of Calvary. Mm. The Bible says it is finished. It is We're finished. going to pray in this season, asking the Lord in this season of the full moon. Let's ask the Lord, we come with the finished work of Calvary. The finished work Let's of Calvary. Let's open our mouth and pray. Yes, Let's Lord. Ask the Lord. We, we come with the finished work of Calvary. Yes. We have come with mm. the finished work of Calvary. Yes. Let us pray. Father, we stand with you. Lord. Lord, we come with the finished work of Calvary. Yes, Lord. The is Lord. The mm. ancient today is Lord. The only one of Israel. The under the Lord. I shall find Lord. As come with the finished work of Calvary. Yes, our Father, to the glory of your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Are you there? I'm there, my brother. I'm... Now, let's open to that scripture I told you in the book of Isaiah. 51. Isaiah 51. Yes. Are you there? Yes, yes. Isaiah 51, verse 14. No, 51, 15. 51, 15. Isaiah 51, 15. Yes. To, to 16. Are yeah. you there? Yes, I'm there. Can I read it in NIV? Yes, you can read. You can read. Okay, it says, For I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. I who set the heavens in place, who laid the foundations of the earth, and who say to Zion, you are my people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let me read it. So the same words, I am the Lord your God, who divided the seas, whose waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name, and I have put my word in your mouth. Can somebody say, God has put his word in my mouth? God has put his word in my mouth. Yes. 
Do you hear what I said? Yes, yes, yes. Now we can begin to talk to the Lord. Father, Father we speak to the heavens. We speak to the sun, the moon, the stars. Voice of heavens. We command you, hear the word of the Lord. You will not smite me in the day. You will not smite me in the night. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name there of are Jesus. so many investments that God has made in you. Yes, you Lord. hold some heaven. My mm. say, come leka. Hear the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> From this day, you will respond to the counsel of God over my life. Yes. You respond to the counsel of God over my nation. Yes. You respond to the counsel of God over the work of my hands. Yes. You respond to the counsel of God over. Yes, Lord, over the work of my hand, the ministry, the things that you have, God have called me to do. Yes, yes Lord, have we hear the word of the Lord? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord. Lord, as I speak to you, you woman, hear the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. All of the ancient, ancient things that God has given to you, hear the word of the Lord. This is the time for you to begin to release it. You fool will hear the word of the Lord. Yes. You stars of light. Yes. You have peace. Hear the word of the Lord. Yes. Begin to release the counsel of God, the purpose of God, Father. the will of God. Yes. Yes, now because we are the generation that have come to that have come to do the will of God. Lord, we ask our Father that you prove yourself, O God. Thank you, Lastly, Father. Be thou exalted, and Lord. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to pray now. I said the Lord this moment. Let's pray and ask the Lord that Africa will come to his fullness. Yes. Look at what it just says. In the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 24. Romans 11. Are you there? Romans eleven twenty four. Yes. Yes. Twenty five. Uh, twenty five. I'm there. All right, you can read. Romans eleven twenty five. The word of the Lord. It says. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do not want to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part. Until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. Up to there. Now this is the time that the full number of we to come in. Mm. Do you see it now? Yes, yes. He said in my own version. Yes. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery lest you should be wise in your own opinion that the blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentile has come in. This is the time that God is expecting, the time of the fullness of God and uh, the Gentile nation. We're going to ask the Lord in this season to bring place of fullness that uh, you know, Africa will come to their fullness. Yes. Is that clear to you? Yeah, it's clear. Let's pray, let's pray, let's ask the Lord to bring the continent of Africa in its fullness. Father, yes. we ask, Lord, Father, we ask Lord, the for this, Lord, Lord that we bring fullness. this continent to the place of the yes, fullness. Lord, it come yes, to the Lord, we fullness. ask our Father the and our God that you prove yourself to God. In the, name of the name be glorified. In the name of Thank Jesus. you, Lord of Lords. Yes, Bless Lord. your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Lord. In Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are going to sound the shofar. Hallelujah. We're going to ask the Lord to break the, you know, to break the barriers. Yes. The siege. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. The siege are not inside, they are outside. That's right. So we're going to ask that the Lord should break the siege. Amen. Whatever siege that Africa has been into, up until now, no African nation have ever come to the technology of 
you know, uh, building the aircraft. Yes. All these things now, we are not my, you know, and God spoke to us in 2005 in South Africa. He says that he's going to open doors of witty inventions. Mm. <laughs> so it's a hard time for us not to depend on the, on the people from the West. That's right. So we're going to sound the shofar. Amen. I'm there already. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. 33 verse 13. Yes. Okay, you want to read it? Okay, and and of blessed is it. Blessed are the Lord is his land with the precious things of the heavens, with the view and the deep lying beneath with the precious fruit of the sun with the precious product of the moon there are products that come from the moon mm. there are precious products that come from the moon and the star and the species with with the best things of the ancient mountains, with the precious things of the everlasting hills, with the precious things of the earth and its fullness, Amen. and the favor of, of him who dwells in, in the bush, bush. Hallelujah. let the blessing come to come on the blessed head mm. and on the ground of the head of him who was separated from his brothers. So this is the word of the Lord. Amen. Let the, let the heavens, let all the creatures join us to fulfill destiny in this season. Let us pray. Mm. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to eyes of Father, we go that creatures will join us to fulfill destiny. Yes, yes Lord. We ask for the product, our Father, that come from the the sun, the product that come from the moon. All of these precious fruits, yes, our Father, that proceed from the sun, the precious product from the moon. Oh God, our Father, with the with the best things of the ancient mountains, with the precious things of the everlasting hills. For we ask, O oh God, in this time of season, let all of these things come, O oh God, upon us as we proceed in this time and season in the continent of Africa. Let your name alone be glorified. 
Thank you because you are living an everlasting God. Be thy sought in Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Now we round up. Yes. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you, the ancient, for this. For how far you have helped us. We give you all the glory. We honor you, the ancient, for this. Yes, Lord. Lord, our Father, in all of these requests we have made over ourselves, over the continent of Africa, yes. Lord, we pray, our Father, may God, as He will accelerate it, you will bring it to pass, our Father, may God, in this time. So that men will know of the truth that you are the living God. Have your way, everlasting Father. We cover these two nations with the blood of Jesus. Yes, we cover the nation of Kenya with the blood of Jesus. Yes. We ask that you bring an end to flood, bring yes. an end to the locusts. Yes. All of this, you are army, the caterpillar, the canker worm that eat nations. Yes. We ask our Father and God as we bring them an end. Bring, bring an, an end, end to them, O oh God, yes. to the glory of your name. We ask our God in this time and season as you bring the nation Nigeria into your hand. We soak Nigeria with the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask our Father that your plan and your purpose is over this nation. Lord, in this end time, let it come to pass to the glory of your name. Yes, Thank Lord. you, our Father, because you are the only true God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that you have your way. Lord, according to your word, Father, you said in the time of the full moon, I will should blow the trumpet. Yes, Lord, Lord, our Father, as you're about to sound this trumpet again, Lord, yes. you hear us from heaven. Yes. Lord, our Father, we go. You are purpose, your plan. Lord, for us as a generation, will not be aborted. We ask that you have your way. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Ishan, for this. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So far in Lagos, hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 The Lord bless you, my brother. Amen. The Lord honor you. Amen. So my want to blow her. Aha. Wow. Glory to God. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Be Amen. Before you go, man of God. This, this, is, a, this is a generation. Yes. Yeah. Three years. Three years now. Three years now. Sounding the shofar. She's three years and sounding the shofar. <laughs> wow. Yes. We bless the Lord for you, man of God. We trust God to do as um. It seems um. It seems uh, the future in in Nigeria is not able to come where we are able to see each other on the YouTube or the Facebook but we'll we'll trust God to do a Zoom yeah. or another chat we'll use something else to do this no problem no problem amen we thank God for your and ministry we are, we are trusting God uh, as this lockdown goes down we are trusting God at least we'll be able to to get gadgets that will enable us to to future very well Yes, yes, that is happening very soon in Jesus' name. There's, yes, a, yes. there's, a, there's a song I want to play. It can be a continental. People will link up from different parts of the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I trust uh, the, um, within our, our, the intercessory network that uh, we have, 
the Lord will Amen. connect us and we'll be able to yeah. do something offline also. Yes, yes. Amen, amen. Amen. There is a song here by Nathaniel oh. Bassi. Oh, okay. It goes like, Oh, Lowo Bogboro is turning things around. Have I said it in yeah. the right accent? Yes, 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 yes. He says, Olowo Gogboro is turning things around for your good. Yes. What does it mean in English? Yes. What what in English? Yes. I have I have my pastor here with me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you understand? Yes. By the grace of God. Yes. We hear Yeah. Yes. yes, yes. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Are you there? Yes, I'm there, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you clear. Okay. What they call in Yoruba is a Yoruba language. Yes. You have huge hand. What they call our is hand. Uh huh. Now he's talking about the one that has a strong hand, a huge hand. Yes. That is turning things around for good. Yes. You know, it's only that mighty hand that can turn things around. Amen. Thank you so much, my brother. <laughs> we give glory now, to God. Now, uh -huh. Another language. Yes. Uh, Agaga Jehovah. Agaga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Amen. Yes. The head of the Almighty. Amen. <sighs> we give glory to God. So that was it. Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah. Amen. Honorable Beya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He said, Aga Jehovah, the hand of Jehovah. Yes. Eh? Aga... It's mighty. You understand? Aga Jehovah. Uh, yes, Aga Jehovah. And then, uh huh. That does good. That does good things. Uh huh. Is it Aka? It's Aka Jehovah. Uh, Aka Jehovah, yes. Uh, which language Aga is that? Aga Jehovah. It's the Aga Jehovah. Aga Jehovah, remember, that's the hand of God that does great things. Hallelujah. Yes. We bless the Lord. Thank you, sir. Remember. That one. Is it that one? Yes. Okay, we go off. Yes, yes. I'm going to play that, so just keep checking the video because uh, we are ending it shortly. But uh, we have to play that special okay. song. Aka, Aka. Okay. okay, let me try with the accent. It says Aka. Aka, 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 Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. We're going to be looking forward to connecting soon. Shalom. But be be before you go, I want to blow the shofar from Kenya. So hear the word of the, hear the shofar blast from Kenya. Shalom.
שלום, שלום. Glory be to God. Though it was a challenge, but we had, uh, we were able to be led in prayer by our brother, Blessed Samuel, all the way in Nigeria. He's an intercessor in the nations, and uh, we bless the Lord for his ministry in the nations. And we give glory to God for bringing us into a time of prayer and we have, you know, touched two midday hours. This song simply means the arm of the Lord. Hallelujah! Aka Akaya Aka Hallelujah! It's the same Hallelujah! It's the same Hallelujah! It's the same Hallelujah! You can do Hey, Father, we bless your name. We give you glory, Lord. There is none like you, Lord. Hallelujah, we bless the Lord. Shalom. Let the blessing of the Lord be upon you. As you've enabled us to pray. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace volume equals power don't build the, the door you lord thank you all for joining in thank you thank you thank you thank you Testimony is just like that, oh. See you in the next video. The Lord bless you. Oh, shalom. Shalom.